Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video on my channel. This video is going to be about the cost of living in Dubai, and it's a continuation to the first video I made. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and go check it out before watching this one. So those of you who left feedback and asked additional questions about the cost of living, I appreciate it. So in this video, I'm going to try and talk about those things and provide you a little more information and hopefully help you make a, a more informed decision if you're thinking about moving over here to Dubai. In regards to living here, uh, there are several calculators on the internet that you can use and it'll help you get a rough idea of what the cost of living is, such as what's the cost of uh, a gallon of milk, what's the cost of uh, a packet of meat and so on, the cost of transportation, clothing and everything. Now mind you, these calculators aren't always 100% accurate. Sometimes they're way off the mark and completely unrealistic, but it does give you an idea of what some things cost uh, here in Dubai. So that way you can do a slight comparison and it's based on where you're coming from. So for example, if you're coming from Frankfurt, Germany, you can compare the cost of living in Frankfurt to the cost of living here in Dubai. So there's this website and it's called um, Atlas and Boots and there's many other websites and it ranks the, the most expensive cities in the world. So according to this website, Dubai is ranked the 23rd most expensive city in the world uh, for expats. But if you're coming from places like London, Moscow, Tokyo, New York, uh, Ashgabat, San Francisco, then moving to Dubai, your cost of living is going to go down. Ideally, you wanna save as much as possible. My opinion, it's, it's a horrible feeling if you have nice stuff, but you don't have money saved or money invested. And I also feel like the money you have saved in investment, that's options, that's freedom. So, you know, what's the point of having a nice car, a super nice place, nice clothes, if you can't go and take time off if you want to or have a, a nice experience? So, you know, in this video, that's my goal to, to help you consider some of those things. But if your goal is to have nice stuff, then uh, Dubai, there is so many malls. Like, I think more malls per capita than anywhere else I've been in the world. Um, so there's plenty of stuff to buy and also uh, there's a lot of experiences to be had. So hopefully, you know, the goal of this video is to give you some ideas where you can cut costs on things that don't matter to you and spend it where it does matter to you or invest your money where it does matter to you. Now, if you are interested in living below your means, um, here are a few tips that I recommend. And that's one, don't buy a car. You can use public transportation, you can use the metro, uh, you can use the bus, taxis, uh, sparringly. Um, you know, the cost of taxis going round trip can add up depending on how far you go, but definitely the bus and metro can get you to most places unless you live on the outskirts of Dubai. Another way that you can save money is cook your own food. If you're eating out a lot, that will add up, especially in some of the hot spots or some of the fancier restaurants. Um, but if you're not a person who has the ability to cook, then you can use apps, um, some of these apps, delivery apps, and they have you know, promo codes every once in a while. Or if you uh, can afford the entertainer, then you can get the entertainer. And the entertainer has these deals all over the place where you buy um, one meal and you get another meal free so it's two meals for the price of one which is uh, an amazing deal another thing to consider is that Dubai is a land of convenience so um, one of the most common things is that uh, people like to pay for uh, other people to help them come clean their place but you can save money if you live tidy um, you know sweep dust mop um, bleach in your bathroom and yeah you can save money there so as I was saying earlier, ultimately, um, you want to live below your means, cut costs where it doesn't matter, and spend where it does matter, or invest where it does matter. And additionally, the work package that you get, the employment package that you get, can also help you with costs. So one of the things, it's not as common now, but is um, a housing allowance. I think you'd be crazy um, if you get a housing allowance and you're able to keep the difference and you choose to live at you know the level of your housing allowance or above it so let's say they give you you know 15,000 dirhams a month for um, a 
place to live and you say okay well they give me 15,000 I'm going to you know spend an additional 5,000 and you get you know a place where you're spending 20,000 dirhams a, a month the smartest thing to do would be to live below that 15,000 dirham a month um, allowance that you're getting and pocket the rest another thing to consider is that um, some companies will give you a, a, a flight benefit so they'll, they'll reimburse you for your um, flight home so you get an annual flight benefit so let's say you don't want to go home then you can use that to travel somewhere else um, it can be used for an annual vacation and so that's something less that's coming out of your pocket minus the you know the cost of you know um, a hotel or lodging and, and food you know get a ticket to go somewhere additionally depending on the company you work for um, there's company perks and, and discounts so, for example, you can get the Fuzza card, or if you're Emirates employee, Emirates employees get a, um, amazing discounts. And then also, depending on the company you work for, maybe you'll get a discount on the products and services that your company offers. So the, again, that's additional ways that you can save the money that you're spending and use it towards things that actually matter towards you. Now, there's you know so many things that you know I can talk about on on, on the cost of living but that varies on you know what your income level is like um, what your lifestyle is like and it's hard to put a number to that but you know my overall goal was just give you you know some tips to get you started and things to to, to think about so my previous video uh, about working in dubai i made a statement that you shouldn't sell yourself short to come here um, that's very true you don't want to come out here and be struggling so you know if you're finding that you're not getting the the, um, the salary packages that you're looking for then there's nothing wrong with staying where you're at and working on your career and building yourself up and when the time's right coming out here uh, dubai is growing so it's always going to to be here and when the time is right for you and you can live the lifestyle that you want then make that hop but even then, that doesn't mean that you should live above your means. You know, continue to consider you know how you can cut your costs and focus on spending and investing your money on things that matter to you. Now, if this video was helpful for, for, um, to you, uh, please go ahead and hit that like button, share it to someone who needs to see this. And if you have any questions or comments or feedback, go ahead and, and leave it for me. And I really appreciate it.